Jesse, bro, I love you. Love you Thank too, you Patrick. so much for coming. What is happening? Bro, what is happening? We went from silver, we brought in the idea of Bitcoin, and then we had these like side events happening. Things are getting real. Networks are being made, communities are being built. Mm -hmm. This is what we planned for. We reaped what we are sowing. Yep. You know, this is the time to reap and we're, we're sowing it today and it's been insane. Yeah. Been this has been a fun. seeding process for a lot of years. And much of what we're seeing here, and truth be told, I have had hundreds of conversations this week with people that are just clamoring for a wisdom they're looking for what to do, where to go. They're hearing all of this fantastic, deep, intentional information. I mean, the crypto conversation has been, I mean, it's been second to none uh, having some of the conversation, just hearing you interject the conversation around crypto. It's encouraged me. <laughs> Yet everyone that I've spoke to, and I, when I say everyone, it's difficult to make an always statement or an every statement. Every person that I have spoken to this weekend is here by design. They've intentionally sought this event out and are looking for wisdom, knowledge, and they're paying for it. They had to sacrifice something to come here. This has been really special. So thank you for the invitation. So my question to you is, you've been through a lot of the panels this last week. You've yeah. seen a lot of what's happened over the last couple of days. When you and I first met, it was at VRIC. It, it was quite a different feel than what we had here. I want to just kind of reflect on that because you haven't gone to too many events. This is not no. something that you do all the time. What stuck out most to you? What was your favorite part of these events? Okay, so if we compared it to VRIC, totally different show. Completely so. different show. I think that the spirit behind uh, those that are here is different. Um, the VRIC show for me was an introduction into this industry, yet I've been following the conversation around silver and gold and crypto and expanding my under understanding of what they represent in our world as a whole and the uniqueness of it. So VRIC was really uh, talked a lot about the miners, and I know we have miners here, and there was a, a totally different type of show. This one here is salt of the earth. Like the folks that are here right now are looking to make a way where they don't see one. Yeah. And that's happening at this show. Very different than what was in Vancouver. You received that? I received that, man. This has been really fun. Uh, people keep coming up to me and saying, I, I can't even believe the things they're saying to me because it doesn't, I don't resonate with that. I'm like, you have any idea how tired I am? I don't feel like 100%. I'm yeah. barely sleeping, but what I can tell you is every time someone stops me, I want to talk to them. Yeah. I don't even want to leave. So my legs are hurting, I'm cramping, but the idea is I just want to say hi to everyone. It's been so amazing to meet a lot of the people here from your channel, from Ninja's channel, from Jack's channel, from Joe's channel. It's just been so fun. Uneducated economists. What do you think? Impressive. Of that you know, here's what I got to say about Simon. <clears throat> Just to have a chance to briefly talk with him, and I mentioned this on the channel, on my channel. There is a meekness that Ninja talks about. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a difference. Simon yeah. is a meek man. Jack is a meek man. Joe Brown, I would say, is a meek man. I mean, yeah. these guys are wildly intelligent and very intentional about specific things. Simon, specifically, the uneducated economist. That is a gift. It is a gift for him to be able to be a blue collar man working like we work in different ways, upside down, whatever. And for him to sit up there and to articulate with this calm confidence, and it's just awesome. Jack's the same way. Mm -hmm. What a confidence they have to be able to articulate that, which is how we receive information. We have to hear it. I'm really impressed by him. I really enjoyed Simon. Yeah, Sorry. me too. Rob asked me, he said, Patrick, just... Think of it like your birthday party, right? Who do you want at your birthday party? So I just went out and got all the guys that I liked. And then, of <coughs> course, me. the other guy that I really wanted was Simon. I just, he lives local to me. Yeah. And it was really hard to get a hold of him. It's, yeah. This influencer game is something else. When you try to get a hold of people, they're either gonna reach out to you or you'll never hear from them again. And then once you get one foot in, you get one chance. Mm -hmm. So my one chance with Simon was, bro, I know that you like G. Edward Griffin. Would you like to come to my show? We got G. Edward Griffin. I got the quickest response I've ever had from an influencer. He was so excited what to meet you. He, he said, yes, he came. He was like, absolutely, he's my hero. So then I got to take him out to lunch with G. Edward Griffin. 
What was that like? It was awesome. Him and his wife were there. Mrs. Griffin was there. It was just lovely. My voice was like shot. We're sitting at Hell's Kitchen, and if you know me, I love my food. So yeah. I'm just enjoying the fact that I'm at Hell's Kitchen yeah. with G. Edward Griffin, an educated economist, and both their spouses. And listening. Yeah. I don't think I even ate the beef wellington. <laughs> did I, you I, get the beef wellington? I did. And the lobster risotto and, and the Full creme brulee. Beef wellingtons! Dude, I had to. Like, I had to get it, right? And I just needed to try it. So, but I didn't even eat because it was such a rich time. Yeah. I mean, hearing both of them talk, just getting to watch them both, like, how wow together, watching that love happen between they're them. They're similar yeah. men in some respects. Like, they're very stoic, very sober in how they communicate. Uh, G. Everett Griffin is more of a storyteller. He's interesting to listen to, and Simon so is too. So as you're planning this, um, how many months back? How, how many months back have you been? Because About six months ago. Okay, so around V-Rick, after yeah. V-Rick. What has turned out better now that the event, because you've had some roller coasters up and down, what's been the best thing that's happened from this event thus far for you as a coordinator? There's a lot, been a lot on your shoulders. I'm just curious. The relationships. Yeah, just, you know, getting to either solidify some of the, the friendships that we had, the introduction relationships, just getting to take that next step forward, getting to go do business. Tom Power, getting to go see Sunshine Mint. Yeah, that was wild. That guy has a back on him. Have you seen his back? I have. Tom I, walks into a room, I'm like, jeez, man, dude, this guy's a have you back. shook his hand? Yeah, so shaking a foot. His, like, it was so strong. I mean, I was like, yeah, that's why my brother taught me to have a good, strong hand, like, shake, you know, because... <laughs> Jason and Mark, uh, the guys from, uh, what's the minor, True North, that came with us to the yeah. Sunshine Mint, yeah, yeah. really enjoyed talking with them. In fact, they invited uh, me to come up and tour one of the initial inputs, which is the dirt going in before we see the Sunshine yeah. Mint production. And, you know, even getting to go with them, it was such a treasure, right? Yeah. Just having fun, getting to go with Mike, it's like, wow, that was really fun. You know, we're both around there, and what we all saw was something that we can undeniably say is true. Yeah. Silver supply? We really have a silver shortage? Yeah. Did, did you see, see did you see a silver shortage in there? I mean, I know I know it's a scarce resource, guys, but it is like a scarce it. resource. Here's what I saw was how small the wealth of the world is. Yeah. It, 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 even though there was a lot of silver there, I mean it was a lot. It was all floor palletized. It really wasn't the volume. I was like, wow. It, gold is even smaller. Mm -hmm. Like, c could you imagine how small the wealth of the world is ran on small? The other thing it tells you is every time you watch a movie from now on where they're stealing like gold bars, yeah. you're gonna be like, what liars? We know that's yeah. not true. Not true. <clears throat> you can't do that. It's like when you're seeing like a, a weapon system go off in a movie, you're going, that's not real. When you see someone carrying a silver bar from now on, and they're just like putting it in a backpack, one-handed, you're going, <laughs> yeah. that's not true. That was awesome. Yeah. So that's been my favorite part, just the relationships and getting together with everyone and seeing you again and yeah. just being able to connect with the people. Bro, we've we become love. friends over the last six months since B-Rick on the phone. We haven't even met since. Yeah, this is, this is the first time we've seen each other since. Right? Yeah, I, I think we're going to be doing some cool stuff in the future. I think so. I think I'm so. really excited. So, for, for those, those of you guys, seriously, who don't know Jesse, if you don't know Jesse, follow his channel, Shielded Thank Prepper. You. Because not only that, I was able to talk to a lot of people, and don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to me too, because yeah. I could use the help. But if you guys wanted to, he does a great articulate way of saying, Take a step back. If you've never thought about how to prepare, a lot of people had this questions throughout this, and I'm gonna ask it again here. Yeah, yeah. They're going, so what? What do we do with all this information we have? And Jack said it best. He said, first, you get yourself in order. And so did Joe, get your own house in order. What is your advice to people as they are realizing 
you can no longer do things in the same way and yeah. expect it to just be okay. We must start doing something different. What are those basic steps that you share on your channel? And I know you talk through it all the time. So please, again, like, share, subscribe to his channel. Sure. Get on there and, and see it. We'll put the information below. What do you think we should tell them? Yeah, so here's what we know. This isn't what we think or what we feel. Uh, the instructions, the foundational uh, commands have not changed. Fundamentals achieve great results. I was a professional athlete for seven years after university. I've traveled all over the world. I've competed at Olympic trials, US championships. I've done some awesome things. And I, I was a top, uh, one of the top throwers, uh, shot putters in the world at one time. And when I would return home from these long trips and I would get with my coach, we'd go back to fundamentals. The basics of power moves start slow and they end fast. So in the shot put, it's a, it's a rotational event. So you must build speed. That's why races, they start from stop and they go. Or if you're swinging a golf club, slow to fast. Same with investing. We must get back to the fundamentals, which is slow, build your foundation. And as your foundation is secure, as you begin to increase the speed at which wealth can be built based on good fundamentals and basics, it's, it's how it's supposed to be done. That's where wealth is gonna start, fundamentals, basics. Thanks, Jesse, appreciate you having us here. For those of you guys who don't know The Shielded Prepper, we are out.